This presentation provides an overview of the 2021 data clarification period for State Performance Plan Compliance Indicators 11, 12, and 13. After the State Performance Plan application close date each year, the Texas Education Agency offers local education agencies the opportunity to submit updated data for Compliance Indicators 11, 12, and 13. This clarification period allows LEAs to correct data entry errors and or to document correction of any potential noncompliance found in the state's database prior to the state issuing a finding of noncompliance. Local education agencies are not required to participate in the clarification process, but for LEAs who choose to participate, they must submit documentation for each instance of potential noncompliance using the two-prong criteria of the United States Department of Education's OSEP Memo 0902. For prong one, LEAs must submit documentation that each student level compliance requirement not completed within timeline was completed although late. For prong two, LEAs must submit documentation that it is implementing the regulatory requirements related to the compliance indicators. Sufficient documentation must be submitted to satisfy both prongs. The state will review the documentation prior to issuing a finding. After the SPP application close date, all SPP 11, 12, and 13 applications are returned for LEAs reporting less than 100%. At that time, LEAs may choose from three options. Local education agencies may choose to do nothing, verify non-compliance, or verify correction. LEAs choosing option one will do nothing during the clarification period. Findings of non-compliance will be based on the data entered and certified in the SPP application during the data entry period and available in the database as of the application's August 13, 2021 closing date. Option two allows LEAs to review their data and determine there are no data entry errors and or determine no documentation of corrections for potential noncompliance are found in the database. The LEA recertifies the application with no changes. Findings of noncompliance will be based on recertified data. LEAs may choose option three to update any data entry errors and or submit documentation of corrections for potential noncompliance using the two prong criteria of OSEP Memo 0902. LEAs must recertify and submit the data by the clarification period close date of August 31, 2021 to have data reviewed for demonstration of corrections. LEAs must maintain clarification documentation at the district level that may be subject to further review by the TEA. Specific directions for entering and submitting data during the clarification period can be found on TEA's State Performance Plan Indicators webpage. The state will review the clarification data and if all pre-finding corrections are demonstrated using prong one and prong two criteria, LEAs will not be issued a finding of noncompliance. The LEA data compliance percentages will be adjusted to reflect compliance with the indicator. The state will make findings of noncompliance if pre-finding corrections are not demonstrated using prong one and prong two criteria. The two prong criteria for correction of data entry errors 
and or documentation for correction of potential noncompliance can be found in the United States Department of Education's OSEP Memo 0902. Information regarding the SPP application and the clarification process is located on TEA's State Performance Plan Indicator webpage. For questions regarding the SPP application or the clarification process, please contact your Regional Education Service Center or the SPP team.